Hi, welcome to Mr. Otter Studio. Today we are going to be drawing a reproduction of a Vincent van Gogh painting using oil pastels. And the painting that we're going to be drawing is called Almond Blossom. There's a few different blossom trees that van Gogh has painted, but this specific one was painted in 1890 and it was a gift for his brother Theo and his wife when they had just had a son, a son that they named Vincent. So the first step is to sketch it out on your paper in pencil. The second step is to add your oil pastel colors and the very last thing you want to do is add the details. So the outlines of the branches, the different hatching that you can kind of see on it, and that's it. This tutorial is sponsored by Sakura. They make Cray Pass oil pastels and they are incredible. They have a huge range of different oil pastels to choose from, from junior artists to expressionist. Oil pastels are so different than crayons. They layer, they blend. These are the supplies that you need. You need oil pastels. I'm using these Cray Pass junior artist oil pastels. They come in a set of 50. They are made by Sakura and these will work really well for this tutorial, especially because of the range of colors that we have. I am also using a mechanical pencil that's made by Sakura, and this specific kind is called a sumo grip. You need paper, and the paper that I'm going to be using today is Strathmore Smooth Bright Construction Paper, and I'm gonna be using a blue color, but use whatever color you want, and you need a paper towel, and this is to keep your oil pastels clean and wipe up smudges, and you need a ruler if you wanna draw the edges really defined. Let's start to draw this. So I'm going to be using my ruler just to draw these edges in. This painting is longer than it is tall, but it's not as long as our paper. So I'm just gonna bring in the sides a little bit, and you can measure this out and make it precise if you want to. So I'm taking about an inch on the sides and a quarter of an inch on the top and the bottom. And what I'm going to do before I start drawing is I'm going to draw a grid on this paper. I'm just gonna draw a line halfway. I'm gonna divide it in half long ways and I'm going to divide it in half from the top and the bottom. So from side to side and top to bottom. And this is going to help us get the tree in the right place. And then I'm also going to draw lines and divide these sections in half as well. So the first thing we're going to draw is this main branch that's coming up through the paper. I'm going to be drawing dark so you can see, but you should be drawing really, really lightly so you don't need to erase anything. Van Gogh's paintings are anything but rigid, so make sure when you're drawing this, you're just letting it flow and be loose. Make a little triangle in the corner of the shape. We're gonna dip down and come up into the shape. Then we're gonna come up into almost like a long triangle and then over into the shape. Then we wanna make this a little bit thicker and we're gonna make it thicker starting right here. And then this just comes down into kind of a circle and then so does this. Now let's bring some of the branches that are coming in behind it. So we're just drawing a tube coming up behind this. Don't worry if yours looks a little bit different than mine. And then we're going to draw this up and back into this one. So do a little loop and then come back over and then draw a little one coming off to the side. And at the top of this, we're just gonna come straight into the middle of our paper and then do another line coming over and then just add lines to make it a little bit thicker. There's one that's going to come straight over into this shape and it's going to bend down and then it's gonna come straight up into a point. And then on top of it, we're going to come straight up and then over and we're going to cross right through the corner of this shape and then come up into a point and we're just gonna put a little V coming off of it this way and then thicken that up a little bit. And really, do not try to draw these exactly how mine are. These can be totally different than I've drawn them. And off of this shape, we're just gonna draw another little thin branch that's coming up and over into this shape, thicken it up. At the top of this where it comes over, we're gonna draw another shape that's coming over into there. And then another branch in between these two that's not as tall as them. This branch, after it bumps over, we're gonna bring one branch over into this shape right here. And there's going to be one little branch in the middle that's coming over off of this branch. And when this branch bends, there's going to be one branch coming off and one coming straight down. So we have an L and then just an, a big straight line. There's another branch that's coming behind this branch, so we're gonna draw a part of it. Thick like that. You can draw the line straight through if you would like. And then up here, it really starts to go all the way up into that side of the page. And this is very thin, and then it's going to get a little bit thicker as it comes down. Let's draw one branch coming all the way across here. From this tree, there's just a little squirrely lines coming off of it. A few little branches, one up here, one down here. So we have all of these different branches. Don't worry if your branches will look a little bit different than this, and that is totally fine. Hopefully they do, and they're not the exact same. And then we have this branch up here, and I'm not sure where this branch is coming from, but there definitely is a branch at the top of this page. So we're just gonna draw it in. And now I'm just going to draw some circles where we're going to put the flowers. I'm gonna draw them where I see them on his painting, but if you wanna draw them in different places, go ahead. So there actually is a branch coming out of this part of this tree that has some flowers on it. And there's some flowers in here. There's a flower at the end of this. Up in here, it gets a little bit crazy. There's a lot going on. So we're putting some blossoms at the ends of the branches and sometimes even coming down onto the branches. Let's come to this branch right here. 
So look at it. If you want to add some more blossoms in it, you can. Also, I recommend look at Van Gogh's painting and add different shapes and different things that maybe I didn't add here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to fill in and block in the main colors. So we're going to block in the background and then the branches and the flowers, and then we're going to add some details. This is already a blue paper, but I want to add a little bit of texture and it kind of gets a little bit lighter in the middle of this. So what I'm going to do is grab the blue that is a little bit darker and I'm just lightly going to color it in around the edges. And then we want to take our lighter blue, sky blue, and then we're just going to go over the top. And you can add some texture in there if you want. So keep filling in the whole blue area. And you can leave some blue area since our background is kind of the same color as our paper. You don't need to come right to the edges of your branches. All right, the next step is to fill in the branches. And the branches are going to be a little bit lighter than the green that I have. So what I'm going to do is actually color them in with my white and then go over them with my green. Use a cream color to fill in your tree branches or a white and then we'll go over them in green. Once you've drawn in your branches, take your oil pastel and you can block in where those blossoms are. And the blossoms are made out of petals, so you can go ahead and put those petals in with your oil pastel. And the next thing we want to do is take our green and we're going to fill in our branches with green. So I'm just using this mossy colored green and I'm going over the white. Now we have most of our colors blocked in. There is a little bit of pink that we need to add in some of these blossoms. After you add the pink, there is a little bit of yellow as well in some of these flowers. So grab your yellow. Some of them you can see yellow just right in the center. Some of them the whole flower is a little bit more yellow. So you can add just a little bit of yellow to those blossoms. Now we are going to make these really, really pop off of our paper. And you can grab a dark blue or a black. I'm going to grab my navy blue for this part, but you can use black. And what we're going to do is just outline these branches. And we're going to add a little bit of texture on these branches. And this one, you just see little bits of it and it's really, really sketchy. So some of these flowers are actually being outlined just a little bit in here. Don't outline all of your flowers, but some of them have a little bit of an outline. Inside of this branch, we're going to add some lines that show the form. So we're going to add these hatch lines. And some of them don't go all the way to the top, but they start on the edge and go up into the branch. And some of the branches have more of it, and some of them have a little bit less. Once you add those on, you can cut this out and frame it. I'm just going to put some white around the edges of it to just bring it into focus a little bit more. And I'm just going to take my blue and lightly go around the edges. And that's it. You are finished. Great job today. I hope you enjoyed using these oil pastels. Have a wonderful day. We will see you around on YouTube.